Today I'm going to show you a super quick and easy method for setting your bicycle seat height. Now there are other videos out there that will give you a more accurate and scientific and measured approach to setting your saddle height. And you should absolutely do that if this is a bicycle you're riding all the time. You should maybe even consider getting a bicycle fit from a professional bike fitter. That said, you might be renting a bike today. You might be borrowing a bike. You might have just pulled your bike out of the garage for the spring and you're ready to get out for a ride. So in this video, we're just gonna focus on how do you quickly and easily set your seat height so you can go out and enjoy yourself and be comfortable. So I've actually got my mom's bike here. The seat is set a little low for me right now, so I'm gonna raise it. Chances are you also need to raise your saddle. Sometimes I see women with their saddle head set too high, but far more often they have it set too low. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is loosen the seat post collar. Now, if you have a quick release seat post collar, this is super easy. Just open the lever and you can move your seat post up and down. If you don't have a quick release on your seat post, that's okay, you're just gonna need a tool. You're gonna to need a Allen wrench. This is also called an Allen key or a hex wrench or a hex key. And you might have them in a loose set like this, or you might have a bike multi-tool that will have the correct size Allen wrench on it. I'm going to loosen the bolt or bolts on the seat post collar. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tidy. You wanna loosen it until the seat post can move up and down freely. The next step is finding my hip bone. I wanna find the middle of my hip bone and it's the point that kind of pokes out at the front of your hip. You might have to fill around a little bit until you find it. Once you do find it, then raise the top of the saddle to that point on your hip. We're going to re-tighten the bolts on the seat post collar. If you have a carbon seat post, you will need a special tool called a torque wrench to make sure you don't over tighten it. But most of you won't have a carbon seat post and won't need to worry about that. But if you do, invest in one of these tools. The next step is to hop on the bicycle seat to make sure I got it set correctly. For this step, lean up against a wall. Once on the bike, extend one leg fully to the six o'clock or bottom position. The general rule of thumb is that you want to have a slight 30 to 40 degree angle bend at the bottom of your pedal stroke. If you cannot extend your leg fully and your knee is still very bent at the six o'clock position, your seat is too low. If at the bottom of your stroke, you are straining or stretching unnecessarily to meet the pedal or lose contact with the pedal altogether, then your seat is too high. In this case, gradually adjust the saddle once again. That's it. You should be now able to get out and enjoy your rides today. If you liked this video, please hit like and subscribe and provide tips and tricks to help you have more fun on your bike. Happy riding.